Hello everybody, in this video we will revisit the infamous rogue called Windows Accelerator Pro. That fake can of ours isn't anything special, it's just yet another identical copy of AV Security Essentials, which is another identical copy of Windows Ultimate Booster, which is yet another identical copy of Ultimate System Guard, and so on. There are so many clones, you can't really pinpoint the original and thus, it belongs to the fake Vimes rogue family. That family was mainly prevalent during the sunset of rogues, 2013-2014, likely when the fake Vimes template got leaked and many unscrupulous people got a hold of it. Regardless, I'm here to show you the sickest way to get rid of the final fake Vimes version and many of its clones. Now check this out, the normie removal guide is telling you to boot to safe mode with command prompt. And I guess that's the way to go about it, since, well, the rogue overrides the shell registry key inside when logon. And the safe mode with command prompt does not start the shell. Basically, fuck that. I've got a better removal guide for you. Let's go ahead and start the fake antivirus. Wop.exe. Now I know what you're thinking about, no, it doesn't mean that. It stands for Windows Accelerator Pro, the abbreviation of it. Uh, it asks for administrator permissions, uh, guard and four random letters.exe. It's mainly for the task manager blocking ability. Uh, let's go ahead and click yes. Watch out, Windows Accelerator Pro is starting up. And the UAC got turned off, excellent. Oh shit, my computer is rebooting. What's happening? Alright, the shell has been overridden. Can't open the task manager either. Could probably hold control shift escape and try something. That's not gonna work. The working process is terminating the task manager. Well, it's time to remove it. Working. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting closer. There you go. Guard has stopped working. I wonder why. <laughs> and with that, we can start the task manager. So there you go, amateurs. This is how you remove the rogue. Uh, now the rest of the cleanup is rather simple. First, hop on the registry editor, regedit. Find the shell value. It should be somewhere in the software hive. I think it's software Microsoft Windows NT current version and win logon there it is here's the overridden shell value here we got the fake NI virus and we got the absolute path from it so that's great uh, change it back to explorer.exe the default value of your shell can close that freely now. Now go to the path, it's in app data. We've got result one, which is a database file. Kinda wonder what it what is it? I actually kinda wanna open it in notepad. Let's check it out. No wait, it's the result one. Oh there you have it. It's probably the database of detections that it should show you. That's cool. Go ahead and remove both of the files and you should be good. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Sometimes you have to get creative in removing malware. Thanks for watching and take care.